China's startling reveal of two advanced sixth-generation fighter aircraft has sent shockwaves across the globe. Is the United States falling behind in the race for air dominance? Or is the world's leading military power quietly preparing a bold response? Let's dive deep into this high-stakes aerial competition. The Chinese Revelation The People's Liberation Army Air Force recently demonstrated two seemingly sixth-generation fighter aircraft. This unexpected showcase has raised serious questions. How far behind are Western nations, particularly the United States, in this technological race? For years, China has kept its fighter development shrouded in secrecy. But this dramatic unveiling now leaves the world wondering, how did Beijing manage to pull off such a leap without the world noticing? The U.S. Response Air Force NGAD Program while China's advancements have caught global attention, the United States has long been working on its own next-generation aircraft. The Air Force's NGAD, or Next Generation Air Dominance Program, is set to replace the iconic F-22 Raptor. In May 2023, Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall called NGAD a generational leap in technology designed for air superiority in highly contested environments. What makes NGAD revolutionary? Open architecture systems, enhanced lethality, and adaptability in the most hostile airspace. But secrecy surrounds this project too, raising the question, how close is the U.S. to unveiling its next big leap? The Navy's F-A-20 program. The U.S. Navy isn't sitting idle either. Their F-A-20 program aims to replace the aging fleet of F-A-18 Super Hornets. Engaging defense giants like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman, the Navy is now in the design maturation phase. This ambitious program is fueled by lessons from past projects and a sense of urgency sparked by China's advancements. Will this collaboration lead to a fighter capable of dominating both air and sea? The race heats up. With China pushing the envelope, the clock is ticking for the U.S. Air Force and Navy. Both branches are racing to demonstrate not just technological superiority, but also the ability to adapt to a rapidly evolving geopolitical landscape. As Secretary Kendall warned, we will lose our edge if we don't move forward now. The NGAD and FA-20 programs are not just about winning the skies, they're about securing the future of global power dynamics. Will the United States rise to the challenge and maintain its dominance in the skies? Or is the balance of power shifting? Subscribe to our channel for more updates on this high-stakes race for air superiority. Let us know in the comments, who do you think has the edge in this technological battle, the U.S. or China? <laughs>